Where will the number one quarterback in the transfer portal land? Miami, Florida State, Ohio State? It doesn't really matter. Cam Ward's going to have his pick of the litter when choosing his next destination for 2024. And he's already been on a visit with Miami. He's going down to Tallahassee to meet up with Mike Norvell. Is there a better fit of these two? And ultimately, is one of these two the favorites to land him? Let's talk about it. If you are new here, welcome on into the channel. My name is Cole Thompson. I'm a radio show host based in Houston, and I talk college football daily. So this is the type of content you enjoy, plus coaching searches, the transfer portal, anything going on with bowl eligibility. Make sure you smash the subscribe button down below. Leave a comment telling me where you would like to see Cam Ward strap it up in 2024. Tell your friends, your family, sports fans, college football aficionados, FSU and Miami people everywhere about this channel. Because we're so damn close and on the race to 1,000, then 10,000, then 50,000, and 100,000, and we're going to get there. So jump on in while the water's fine. Give me a follow on social media, at Mr. Cole Thompson. That way, the flow of conversation with college football never has to stop. We already know that Cam Ward has visited with Miami. And let's just get this out of the way. Cam Ward, in my opinion has the most upside of any quarterback that's in the portal. That means young, that means proven, that means going into their third destination. It doesn't matter. Cam Ward, to me, has everything at your disposal to change the course of your season. If you add him to your program, you're getting a special player. So he's already gone and visited with Miami, which makes a lot of sense. And now he's going to Florida State. And there's going to be conversations about why these two both fit. And let's talk about it. For Miami. Number one, it's a proof of concept. We already know that Shannon Dawson comes from the air raid style offense. It wasn't on display last year, mainly because of the personnel that you had. But anybody who watched Houston Cougar football understands spread, pass, go deep. Don't be afraid to uncork it a little bit. That was the MO for Cam Ward during his time in Pullman at Washington State underneath Jake Dickert. There's a lot of air raid, a lot of spread concepts, move the ball around, up-tempo. So the fit automatically works there. But also, this would be a quarterback that Mario Cristobal has primarily chosen. And that's not an insult to say that Tyler Van Dyke wasn't in the running. But Tyler Van Dyke always felt like, to me, the quarterback that was just brought in and stepped, stayed there. It was always like you had to pick him over anybody else. Now... You look at Mario Cristobal, he's going out of his way to look at all of his options, including Emory Williams, who's on campus, which could be the end of starter if you don't get a guy like Cam Ward, but not the point here. The point is, is that this will be a quarterback that Mario is picking. This is a quarterback that Shannon Dawson is picking, not one handed to them. So everything that occurs moving forward falls in their regime. I've been on record multiple times, so I'll continue to say this until I'm blue in the face. I believe Miami has the best chance of any team going into year three to have a Texas type of revival where we are talking about them being in the college football playoff. We are talking about them winning a conference title, and they absolutely can do that with the right pieces. You get Cam Ward in the building, a guy who says to himself, I know that this is the best fit for the style of offense that I run extremely well. I want to put up great numbers, and I want to show everybody in college football I can be the qualified starter at the next level. You add that guy in, plus whatever else you're bringing in in the transfer portal and with the top 10 recruiting class, we're talking exponentially different about Miami next year, season. Then we are. We, we have to. Because this would be a quarterback that already understands the concept, but also probably turns a few losses into wins. Like this is a Miami team that probably should be eight and four, maybe nine and three if things swing their way. So we're talking about now continued growth going into year three underneath Mario Cristobal. And that's a big plus. And more importantly, if you're the quarterback that finally brings national relevancy to Coral Gables, we're not just talking about you going to the playoff. We're talking about you get a statue, something named after you on campus. And also maybe a few individual honors along the way. Heisman Trophy, maybe Davey O'Brien Award, the Maxwell Award. We've seen quarterbacks, they enter the portal, and sometimes the grass is not always greener on the other side, but it does feel that way for a guy like Cam Ward, which is why also I think you have to consider Florida State just based off a of proof of concept. There's two ways that you can say proof of concept. Number one is the analogy of understanding the offensive perspective, which no doubt in my mind, if you were to put Cam Ward in Shane and Dawson's offense, he would immediately thrive and prosper. There's no doubt about it. He would be a superstar for the jump. But then there's the proof of concept about transfers coming to a school end up walking away better. 
because of it. And there's two schools right now that are doing it better than anybody else. Number one is Ole Miss, and number two is Florida State. Ole Miss, once again, is going back to a New Year's Six Bowl, and this is an Ole Miss team that many people thought eight and four was their ceiling. Well, they went 10 and two, and now they're building for something in the future. And then you have Florida State, which has beautifully worked the transfer portal the last two years underneath Mike Norvell, and more and more transfers continue to leave the university now with a higher draft grade. That's the case. Keon Coleman is going to go from a day two pick into probably a top 25 pick. Jared Verse was at an FCS school at UAlbany and now is going to be a top 15 selection in next year's draft. Fentrell Cypress and Jaheim Bell and Trey Benson and Jordan Travis, who did transfer before Norvell got there, all benefited by going to Tallahassee. So the proof of concept is we're transfers. We're just like you. We thought exactly what you thought. We came here and we were better because of it. And Mike Norvell, you already know that the journey to where you want to be is completed. Now it's about adding in the right pieces. With Norvell, Florida State is going for the playoff next year. There is no more wondering, could we win the ACC? Can we be alongside a team like Clemson? That's done. That part of the chapter has been written. The book is closed, and now it's time to open up a new page. And that page is starting off with, what can we do to win the college football playoff? What can we do to get a national championship? You add in a quarterback like Cam Ward, not to mention with what you're bringing in via the recruit, recruiting trail and the transfer portal, it's going to be hard to say that you aren't the favorites in the ACC. In fact, in my opinion, you probably are a top three team just for landing Cam Ward. And this goes for anybody out there. Anybody who ends up getting the kid from Pullman and the kid who dazzled at the FCS level and incarnate word is getting a quarterback that probably puts you at at least third place in your new conference for the preseason odds. And then you stay healthy. We're talking about exponential growth. And the big thing is you look at Florida State, not only is the proof of concept there, the returning talent is impeccable. You're losing a lot of names, but you're also retaining a ton too. And that defense is going to still be sound. The offensive line is going to be well-equipped. You have good depth behind wide receivers like Keon Coleman and Johnny Wilson. You're putting yourself on a degree to where you believe we're not rebuilding anymore. We're regrouping. And Florida State has that advantage over a team like Miami, where Miami, they're still looking to get to that 10-win marker. They're still looking to get to that level. But this could be where you go after a Cam Ward. Ultimately, he's going to have a very difficult, but maybe not so difficult decision on his hands. Because of either way, he's going to a university to where he is going to elevate the status. And this could include Ohio State too. It could include USC. Those are two schools that are very much in the running to land a quarterback for their long-term future. And they may be long-term future, meaning one-year rental. But it's to set the tone for what is expected at your university in a brand new era of Big Ten. Like, that's the thing, is that now you add in USC, they've been making moves like no one's business on the transfer portal side and more so on the coaching side to better themselves and prove to the world, hey, we get it. We were not what was expected in the Pac-12, but we are not sitting by idly and thinking we can just win by scoring a bunch of points. They're looking to fortify their defense, and now they've got to bring in the right quarterback with it. And the same thing goes for a guy like Ryan Day, who's in a much proven year up in Columbus. I think everybody knows right now, it's not about losing three straight times to Michigan. It's about now you're losing players in the portal. How do you retain the type of talent that can help us get back to where we ultimately want to be? Big 10 champions. So no matter what happens with Cam Ward, he's going to find his home and it's going to be a really, really, really big blessing for that university. I think that Miami makes a lot of sense on paper simply based off the style of offense and what you could be. But if Florida State does land him, you are getting a quarterback that will set the tone and probably turn two or three losses that look on the schedule a little bit challenging into victories. No matter where he lands, he is changing the course of a team's outlook for the foreseeable future, and 2024 should be booming and prosperous. But everything's going to be on the radar, including looking at what happens after a visit to Tallahassee. The job is nowhere near done, but maybe we will find out what happens with Cam Ward, and maybe... It's a reason we're talking about that program, having actual expectations of being a college football playoff contender. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Don't hit the X button yet. Make sure you hit subscribe to keep up with all of our daily content found on Just Saying It and anything else that we post on this channel. Bye.